God bless each and every one of you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Alabado Dios. Praise the Lord God. ¿Quién lo hizo? Cristo. ¿Quién lo hizo? Cristo. Who did it? ¿Quién lo hizo? Cristo. Who did it? I don't need you. I don't need you. Go sit down. I can translate myself. Oh my God. Amen. Amen. Who did it? Cristo. Jesus. Hallelujah. You heard the message? You heard what God told you? Hallelujah. You know, God can transform your life. Each and every one of you, God can transform your life. Hallelujah. The simple message. Gloria. When Jesus arrives in your life, there is nothing in your life that God cannot change. There is no obstacle in your life that God cannot change. Hallelujah. There is nothing that God cannot transform. When God comes into your life, the power of God overcomes any diabolical pos uh, possessiveness that is inside of you. Hallelujah. There is nothing. That's what the preacher said. Everything he said, you can break it down in a few words. Jesus transforms lives. Hallelujah. The same way he transformed that demon possessed man, he can transform you. He can transform you and he can transform you. Glory you gotta understand hallelujah. one thing. The thing you have inside you. It's a fight. It's a two-way fight. It's a two-way fight. Glory you know hallelujah. what I'm saying? Jesus wants to take it out of you. The devil wants to keep it inside you. Jesus wants to take it out, the devil wants to keep it inside you. But I'm going to tell you how you can get it out. Come forward today, right now. I'm going to make an altar call in a few. Come forward. Let Jesus, let Jesus transform you. You know what? The same way he transformed that demon possessed man. See, my father, Baron, ese mensaje, me recuerda un mensaje que predicó mi padre más de 50 años atrás y lo puso por título Amando Malos Cerdos que a Dios. So, gracias, Dios. Usted, me, usted me hizo recordar de mi padre. Gloria a Dios, Dios. See, in that time, when that happened, the community got upset with Jesus because he cast out the demons from the man and put it inside the pigs. And the community got mad at Jesus because that was their way and that was their culture. That's how they made their living. So they got mad at Jesus. But I'm telling you one thing right now. Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the answer to your solution. Jesus is the answer. There is nothing that God cannot do. At this moment, I want to pray for you. Come forward. I want to pray for you. Come forward. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. The Bible said if you're ashamed in front of me, I'll be ashamed of you in front of the Father. Yeah, Amen. Right. I pray for you too. Come forward, my brother. Hallelujah. Come forward. Don't be ashamed. He's lonely. He needs company up here. Come on. Come with him. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to tell you one thing like I tell everybody. After today, you don't have an excuse. That's right. After today, you don't have an excuse. When you're in front of the Father that day, and you're going to be in front of Father God, you're going to be in front of Him. And when you say your name to Him, and He can't find your name in the book of life, and you're going to tell Him, oh, Father, nobody preached to me, because there's going to be so many excuses that day. Oh, Father God, nobody preached to me. He's going to tell you on July 20th, 2024, at 7.30, there was a message that was preached about salvation, and you rejected it. And you're going to say, but, 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 and he's going to say, no, 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 no. 
Today is the day for salvation. The life you're leading, you're leading. I'm going to tell you something right now, my brother. Look at me. Look at me. Hey, San Francisco trying hat. Look at me. Look at me. You, when he sat down right there, when he sat down right there, he told me, you saw what happened to Donald Trump. When I said to him, he said, you saw what happened to Donald Trump. I know what happened to Donald Trump. God gave him a second opportunity. That's what happened to Donald Trump. God gave him a second opportunity. And it's up to Donald Trump to accept it. Because I'll tell you one thing right now. I don't preach politics. But if Donald Trump does not accept Jesus as his personal savior, he's going to spit hell wide open. Glory, hallelujah. So is Joe Biden. And not only that, my brother, I'm sorry to say, Jesus is calling you today. Today's the day for salvation. Tomorrow is not promised to anyone. To nobody. Look at that. They know the Bible more than I do. The Bible is not promised to anyone. Amen. This is a brave man right here. Hallelujah. He knows that he needs Jesus in his life. Yes. And he has come forward to accept Jesus as his personal savior. See, you can't help yourself with that, with that demon that's on top of you. But I'm gonna tell you something right now. I had that demon on top of me too. I was an alcoholic too. I was a drug addict too. But Jesus can cast out that demon of alcoholism from you yeah. today. Amen. Hallelujah. You have to make the first step. You got to take that first step and say, Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. The tears won't help you. You got to open up your heart. One, I'm going to count to three, and I'm going to stop the altar call. Heaven or hell, the choice is yours. Heaven or hell, the choice is yours. Two, today can be the last day of your life. Help him up, Josh, because he's out. Today can be the last day of your life, my brother. You that sitting right there. Today can be the last day of your life. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm telling you the truth. How many people you know that you spoke to them yesterday and today they're no longer here? Free! All the call is done. Jesus! What's your name? You know who David was? Wow. El hombre se llama David. Y yo le pregunté ahí a él si él sabe quién es David. Y él me contesta, dice, el hombre es como el corazón de Dios. Aleluya. Alabado Dios. Hermano, dice, pase por aquí. Hermana Rebeca. Pastor. Alabado Dios. Jesus. What is your name? What is your name? Robert. Hey. Robert, no. Can I tell you? No, no. This is me. That that's inside of you. It's not you. That that's inside of you. Because you were created the image of God and the likeness of God. Anything that possesses a body that destroys the likeness and the image of God is of the devil. I'm telling you realistic. I'm not sugarcoating nothing. The only, one that can, the only one that can take that out of you is called Jesus and the power of God. There is no counselor. There is no rehabilitation. There is no, nothing that can, take, that can take that out of you. The only one that can cast that demon out of you is called Jesus. You hear what I'm saying is Jesus. That's it. Jesus. Hallelujah. You can't quit. Jesus can take it out of you. But you got to accept him as your personal savior. It ain't backwards. It's not backwards. You know, it's not about you. It's not about you make me stop drinking and I'll serve you. Uh-uh. It doesn't work that way. 
Hey man, boy, I was a knockaholic. I was probably worse than you. I couldn't even sit on that chair. Oh God. You know what I'm saying? I used to walk around the streets of New York. I was high like a kite and drunk like a kite. Oh yeah. Look at me now. I used to sleep in crack houses. You know that? But look at me now. God transformed my life. And God can transform your life. Amen? Amen. Stay right there, Robert. Don't go nowhere. We're going to pray for David first. David, yeah. David, where you live at, David? Around here? You can talk to me. Don't worry about it. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let, it go. Let Jesus see those tears. Let it go. 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 There is nothing like the power of God. There is nothing like the power of God. Of God. You still got a chance. I'm still here. You still got a chance. Once I put this microphone down. All right. Jesus. Can we pray for you at least? You don't have to say Jesus. Can we pray for you? We'll pray for you. Come on, we'll pray. Richard, Richard. come on, Richard, come forward. Richard, come forward. We're not gonna touch your beer. We're not gonna don't worry about your beer. Nobody gonna touch your beer. Oh my god. They don't drink beer. They drink Hallelujah. I'm gonna tell you something right now though. We're gonna pray for you. And I'm gonna tell you something right now. I'm gonna pray for you, we're gonna pray for you. And the next time you take a sip of that beer, you're gonna throw it up. The next time you take a sip of that beer, it's gonna be so nasty inside of you, you're gonna wind up throwing it up. In the name of Jesus, the next time you take a sip of that beer, you ain't gonna like the taste anymore because God is gonna change your life. Jesus. God, in the name of Jesus, I pray we came in front of your presence, Lord, every fall. Jesus, this moment, he has came before you, God. Only you know his situation, oh, Heavenly Father. And God, this moment, I tell you, God, Almighty God, watch over him, protect him. God, the first of all, I tell you right now, God, the situation that he is going through. God, guide him, protect him, be with him, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, I tell you this moment, he has come forward. He knows that he is a sinner. And he knows that you are the only one that can take him out of the problems and the situation that he is in. Oh, Heavenly Father, I tell you this moment, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, look at David. Oh, God. God, oh, you want to accept Jesus as a personal savior? You want to accept Jesus as a personal savior? Jesus, this moment I come before you. I recognize that I'm a sinner. I recognize that I am righteously a sinner. And I probably do not have no right to come forward today. But something happened on the cross of Calvary. You shed your blood for me. You died for me. That precious blood that cast down that wooden cross and washed away my sins. This moment, oh Heavenly Father, I ask that you forgive me, that you make me a new person, that you transform my life, that you come into my heart, and you write my name in the book of life. This moment I ask, oh Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you. Richard, I'm going to tell you something right now. Baron, perdona me. Perdona, perdona me. You that in the camera, <laughs> you that on social media, Barry, put that camera this way. Put that camera this way. Thank you, Jesus. This is why we do it. 
This is why we do it. This is why I and Joshua preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is why we take it outside to the streets. Where the need is that. Where people need and are craving for a change and a transformation in their life. This is why we do it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God, this moment I bring to Robert in front of you. Richard, in front of your presence. Jesus, he sat there and he heard the message. God, but there was a fight inside of him, oh Heavenly Father. But there is no fight that you can't win, God. God, there is no fight that you can't win, oh Heavenly Father. God, he might not today accept you. But I tell you from this moment, oh Heavenly Father, that you put in his mind, God, scramble this mind and make him realize, give him nights that he can't understand. Give him nights that he got to shout out and say, what is this? And then you reveal yourself to him and you let him know that you are the Christ that died on the cross of Calvary. That you are the Christ that shed your presence over him. Oh, Heavenly Father, touch this heart. This heart is part of Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. You just let it out. You know. Talk to him. Talk to him. Jesus. Cynthia, God bless you. Amen. We got to pray for Cynthia. We got to pray for Cynthia. Ella vino dos semanas atrás. Y cuando predicamos allá arriba, en iglesia, ella viene todo oculto. But you don't stay. You got to stay. You got to stay. Go ahead. Go ahead, my brother. I dare you touch that beer. I dare you touch that beer. Go ahead. I dare you. You're going to throw it up when you touch that beer. Hallelujah. Jesus, look at Santa. God, give up a break to your heaven. This mind will have any father. Only you know what's happening in this mind. Only you know, God, what's in this body, oh, Heavenly Father. But this moment I ask you, Jesus, that you cast it out. In this moment, oh, Heavenly Father, I ask you, Jesus, that I rebuke everything that's inside of her, oh, Heavenly Father. And I cast it out this moment. This spirit of mental health, Jesus. Wash it out, oh, Heavenly God. By the power of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus. 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 Richard, God bless you. Sister, God bless you. David, God bless you. Robert, God bless you. Thank you. Don't follow Donald Trump. Follow Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Don't worry about it. You follow Donald Trump. He's going to break your heart. <laughs> you follow Joe Biden, you're going to break your heart. You follow Eric Adams, you're going to break your heart. Hallelujah. You follow Kathy Hochul, she's going to break your heart. Wow. You follow Alexandria Ocasio, she's going to break your heart. You follow Jesus, he's going to give you a new heart. Amen. A new mind. Amen. A new body. A new Amen. spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. And that demon of alcohol, he'll cast it out of you. Yes. Mm. Yes, I Jesus. 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 Man, I, 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 I wasn't going to talk, Josh. I wanted to ask you a question. Afterwards. Afterwards. No. Go ahead. Question. Go ahead. You ask me a political question, I'm going to lay hands on you. No. What's the problem? and he loses his life. Mm. It doesn't profit him nothing. Yeah, no, no, no. Nothing. That's true. Oh, yeah. Varón, ellos conocen más Biblia que uno, Lord. Alabado Dios. Jesus. You, que está en social media, lo que está, yo no sé cómo se llama eso en español, las redes sociales. 
Aquí hay un pueblo que todos los sábados en este lote aquí en la 162 y Teller Avenue estamos aquí todos los sábados predicando la palabra de Dios predicando a Cristo Gloria a Dios, aleluya. predicando el que transforma vidas predicando el que cambia vidas y te invitamos que esté con nosotros y todos los sábados a la una de la tarde yo estoy predicando en Morris Avenue y la 161 al frente de la corte al frente de los programas de Metadona al frente de los que están vendiendo drogas y ahí mismo yo le digo a ellos que Cristo es la autoridad de esa comunidad I'm going to tell you something right now. Y lo dije cuando empecé ahí. Dios va a formar una iglesia en esa esquina. Alabado Dios. Gloria a Dios. Aleluya. I speak to you. Te hablo en español para que, para que entiendan. Alabado Cristo. Gloria a Dios. Señor, en este momento, Cristo amado, venimos de tu presencia. Aleluya. Señor, gracias, amado Dios, porque sabemos que tú no hablaste en esta tarde. Señor, gracias porque primeramente tú hablaste a mi vida. Gracias, Señor, yo te digo que tú bendiga al predicador, amado Dios, que tú pusiste palabra en su boca para una comunidad que necesitaba oír palabra tuya, Cristo Gloria, amado. Aleluya. Señor, en este momento que tú bendiga cada paso que él toma, amado Dios. Y yo te pido también, amado Dios, que cada paso que él toma, amado Dios, tú se lo dé, amado Dios, con la autoridad de Dios. Señor, mira este grupo que está aquí, Cristo amado, que estamos proclamando tú, el Hijo de Dios, la única respuesta para una comunidad que no conoce a Dios. Pero primeramente, amado Dios, yo te pido, Cristo amado, que tú guarde esta comunidad, amado Dios, que este vecindario, amado Dios, que nada pase en este vecindario, Cristo amado. Si algo va a pasar, amado Dios, yo te pido que tú primeramente pongas tu mano, amado Dios, y cuide cada persona que esté en este vecindario. Señor, que no parte su vida sin primeramente conocerte, amado Dios. Aleluya. Señor, yo te pido, amado Dios, por Yasuo, por su madre, amado Dios, que han brindado y que hayan abierto la puerta, amado Dios, para que nosotros podamos predicar tu palabra en ese... Don't touch that. Don't touch that beer. Don't you dare drink while I'm, while I'm praying. If you don't want God to cut your arm off, don't you touch that beer while I'm praying. This moment, oh Heavenly Father, I tell you to bless them. Hallelujah. Their ministry, Amen. their church, their family. And everybody that they get in contact with Jesus. Bless each and every one of us. Hallelujah. And now that we're leaving here, Señor, yo te pido que nos salimos de ahí, pero no de tu presencia, amado Dios. Yo te pido que tú vayas con nosotros, amado Dios. Saca cada peligro del vecindario, Cristo amado. Yo te lo pido por tu Hijo Jesucristo. Amén. Amen. Y amén. Alabado Dios, Jesus. Gracias.